Hey, what's up? It's Bradley here. Had a hell of a night. Uh, great night tonight. Wonderful. Really one for the for the scrapbooks. Absolutely. By scrapbooks, I mean... Throw in the garbage. It's scrap it. <laughs> the Just scrap, scrap it. Throw it in the trash books. We were driving, or Tina was driving. It was six hours through our uh, drive. We were I heading to... Even longer, like, after the stop and everything. Like, yeah. Solid. Seven hours, maybe. So, long ass time. Um, there is a truck on the side of the road that's completely trashed. It was a truck that had already gotten into an accident coming from the other direction. It had gone over like the median and it's it's the bed. Oh, I didn't know you were, ew. Um, the bed of the pickup truck, it's 2.40 in the morning. Just let me look gross. Um, the bed of the pickup truck was like three feet into the left lane and it was like aluminum like it looked like a guardrail so basically i hit it because it just was there and suddenly i'm hitting it and um and yeah it could have been a lot worse than it was but yeah. the car was trashed um the state trooper was saying how like a lot of times people will hit things and then they'll like jerk there this is the t most terrible angle of ever jesus um finish the story. people will like jerk their wheel and you know then you can end up in the other lanes of traffic and that can be much worse and like the road was just like semi trucks just pew, pew, pew past us so like literally if i had jerked my wheel to the right anymore like he literally could be dead like like you would have gotten hit yeah and if you didn't swerve the way you did i don't even want to think about what could have happened we hit the thing um, that we thought was a guardrail. We fucking pull truck. over on the side of the road. It's like we're. I, I mean, our mood is just like we were an hour away from a beautiful Airbnb. Oh my god! Oh, it's gonna be sweet. We're gonna I have a good time. I was literally like, my friends were there waiting, and I'm like, let's. I can't wait to see my friends in an hour. Whack. Sit there, turn on my hazards, call nine one one, and we wait for over two hours for a cop. To come for the stage like two troopers. and a half hours it was one in the morning when they showed up but yeah Instead, eventually just... people showed up and oh my god it felt like they were never going to show up yeah they, they were, were really talking nice. oh my god it was such a stressful situation we were waiting in the car we had to keep the light on i was like i had two blankets over my head to just try to cut out everything. yeah if you're ever in i was listening to how to disappear by radiohead <laughs> unironically could... it was that bad and um, um my windshield is trash like the state trooper was pushing on it and it was just like bowing under his yeah, hand so there's like, no oh. chance there's no chance for us to be able to drive to where we needed to go no. um so we had to oh and then we booked uh they gave us a couple hotel options oh, god and he's standing there like there's semis whizzing past him and he's got this little notepad sweet guy found some options for me right he's like there's this option and there's this, this option and but this one you have to be out by 11 a.m and we're thinking like, well, we don't know how long it's gonna take for them to like come and replace the windshield. So let's pick the other one. And then things are, you know, moving along, whatever. He calls them to keep the, to reserve the room. And then uh, I look at the reviews for this place. Two star hotel, dude. The bed bugs and the lube in the sheets. The well, first of all, sheets. it was like before this, you were telling me like, how you hate hotels hate because hotels. this, 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 and this. And then the reviews were literally that, 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 and that. Exactly. And I was He's just like, like, oh, God. And But yeah, we ended up staying in a Holiday Inn. Which I Let me still tell you don't right trust. Now. I Dude, I trust way more than the two-star yes. hotel. So this place kind of slapped so far. It's pretty comfortable. Okay. Anyways, that's basically the story. Rip. Yeah. Pray for us. I'm just kidding. We're fine. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Bradley. So I just realized that I got to turn this into a video so I could write it off as a business trip, okay? That's a lot of writing off, okay? Tina's dragging me to how many concerts? Three? We're going to a concert, three hours of sleep. But yeah, no, there's so many expenses. So uh, yeah, luckily I should be able to write it off because uh, cause of you guys who keep supporting me. So thank you. We made it. We made it. We made it, we made it. God, the journey here was hell. Um, I hung out with the homeless by the uh, 21 Pilots line. Pretty nice. Very nice homeless people. Um, Dude, I never thought we would get to this Airbnb. I mean, at some points I was just like, I wish we could just 
turn this shit around. Yeah, turn turn everything around. <laughs> no, no, this place is so cool. Okay, can I show them? Yeah, sure. Oop, finger in the camera. Okay, we're in the bedroom. It's front facing. Okay. Eek. This is big old, big old feet. All right. This is the coolest part, I think, but it's cold outside. But look at this garden. It's so neat. And then there's this area. Whoa. With like stained glass windows. And then the cutest kitchen I've ever seen. So cute, so cute. I love it. <laughs> See, I'm going to the show tonight. I'm pretty eh about it because the journey here is not worth the reward of seeing 21 pilots live. But you know what? I'm going to suck it up. Got three of these things to go to. Um, people there seem really nice. Met some people I'm already friends with. Half the clickies hate you. Yeah, dude, people are blasting me on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter clickies are like... Self-care is unfollowing, Brad Taste and Music. Yeah, what the fuck do they know about self-care? That's for all I'm saying. So, They're clickies. <laughs> they don't. Just kidding. That's a joke. No, but actually, you guys need to get some sunlight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <That's grass. laughs> with peace and love. No peace and love. Just peace war. With war. With, and with, violence. With war and violence. <laughs> with war and, and hatred. But... No, with peace and love. No, people are already recognizing me. It's weird. I don't like it, but it's whatever. I got used to it. So, including Aries. Aries yes. just trying to convince me that my hair would be better pink. <laughs> no, literally. Not really. Literally but... not. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Um, we're about to go to the concert. We're going to Uber there because apparently it's cheaper than parking, even though it's not. But, uh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Jay Joseph is performing the long-awaited performance of the legendary 10-time Emmy-nominated Jay Joseph. What's up, you guys? So we just finished watching Jay Joseph. Uh, Jay Joseph, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it was bad. It was really bad, but it was entertaining seeing people freak out to the music that they also knew was bad. So I just finished the half alive set. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. No, four out of ten. Five out of ten. I'll give it a five out of ten. Cause I, I said I'll six give it out, a of 10 10. out of ten. I'll give it a six out of ten. It was kind of entertaining at some points. The final song's okay, but holy shit, half alive is right. These songs have no soul. They have literally no soul. They, it's as if they like do all the right things on stage, but they just don't feel it, and I don't feel it. And I felt very, I felt very empty. Um, yeah, I've seen enough, uh, you know, great musicians perform live on YouTube to know that those guys are not going to end up in the greatest of all time books. You say it is accurate in making you feel about half alive, then? Yep. I'd okay. say, I say they did exactly hey, what they said out to do. That's fine. Uh, yeah, not crazy about it. But hey, you know what? It's time for the main event.
What's up everybody, it's the next day. My name is Bradley, of course. I'm gonna start with my negatives because I think this is a good segue into it. The con, like the set list, way, 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 way too long. It, it literally like felt like it dragged to where I was super enjoying it in the very beginning, but as soon as it got to the campfire segment, it felt like it just started to slow down a little bit in terms of the flashy production and a lot of the crazy shit that was really drawing me in in the very beginning. Uh, the other negative, I mean, besides the fact the openers are just terrible, like, just terrible in comparison. Like, they, they don't even try. If you, like, Jay Joseph, yikes. Okay, now that I'm outside the venue, this dude was literally, like, fucking his girlfriend, you know, in the middle of the pit. And I was, like, near that shit, too. It was, like, right there when it was happening. It was, like, uh, okay, you know? Mega 22 and a virgin energy and then half alive. I mean, I tweeted about it I said, you know half alive is right. The music has no fucking soul And I still stand by that even though I'm getting canceled on Twitter again over my opinion about another Trashy alternative band that just rips off of a different alternative band who I promise you will never in a million years be in any history books But then 21 pilots started and let me tell you it's about the same set list as the festival I went to I wasn't really worried about it because Tina told me that it was definitely like a big step up and she was right It really was the production quality I'm going to say especially in the first segment of this concert that I went to was unbelievable some of the visuals that were happening had me like absolutely stunned and like I was being hypnotized even some of the songs that I think are you know garbage and much like the live experience that they did during quarantine there was a large transformation with a lot of these songs that I feel like they were trying to do with the festival but they completely failed with but during these live shows, I thought that there was just like this live presence and this great energy coming from the stage. It was very infectious. Um, I was surrounded by a bunch of great people as well. Uh, people were like, uh, oh my God, you're just gonna talk shit about everybody there, all the fans. No, I actually, I, I really enjoyed being around some of these people. Actually, most of these people, I don't even know why I say some. Like, I made some friends there. I uh, I met Stephen King. Uh, not the, Not that Stephen King, okay, but different Stephen King. And uh, we were talking like a whole bunch and it was a great time that I had with him. Unlike the festival show, the parts that were negative were just like, what the fuck is this? Um, I thought that they didn't drag on as much and they just kind of were like, okay, I, I don't like this song, whatever, it's kind of going by. Um, the thing is, is the campfire segment too. I like the fact that they had more obscure instruments up there. And that also leads into the fact that the band this show the inclusion of the band is amazing there's something about it that just adds an extra layer to the stage where i feel like sometimes it's hard to you know get into it because yeah 21 pilots tyler and josh whatever but then you got like this big band up there that's like killing it and shredding it and they're having the time of their lives to these songs it's infectious it really is it's hard to really like uh listen to these songs you hate and see these people really enjoying it these really talented uh, musicians enjoying this shit and going crazy to it and, and not feel that and I just thought that was such an incredible inclusion because it just made my experience that much better um again the visuals were one of the things that like I was just like staring at the giant screen it, it was like it was like whoever designed that shit made this visual crack and I loved it and I mean I liked what was going on on stage too and whenever I kind of you know looked at the stage but honestly I'm telling you that giant screen it's like they could have put up there you know uh, kill your mother and I would have been like you know so it's pretty good Tyler and Josh they they put their all into this show it, it really showed they uh they, you could see on like Tyler's face just how how much passion he was putting into his performances and then you could see on Josh's face just how much fun he was having so I I had a good time I thought it was really good I got two more shows to go to I'm probably not gonna do this because I mean, they're probably gonna be the exact same thing uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's basically my experience. I had a great time going to these shows. Now I'm at the Kroger supermarket and I'm about to go shopping for food. So I'm gonna go do that. Peace. I'll start when I was first diagnosed. I, uh, I was scared to death.
Day two. Hello. This is a together. terrible fucking I love it. I love angle. it. There we go. Ah. I mean, What's up? That Second show. Okay, went into it with a whole different mindset. It started. Okay, uh, the, the big difference here is tipsy. Okay? It's a big just a, little. just a little bit. And I gotta say, it helped me to say, you know what? Fuck do I care if I even hate these songs. And I sung and vibed to every single song. And I had the time of my life. I, I didn't even pay attention to any details. I just had a great time. And uh, there's lots of footage of me just vibing. Dancing. Like and I just loved it. I felt so good. And uh, that's that's really all that mattered tonight. Yeah, it was so fun. Lots of dancing. Lots of jumping and moving around. And yeah, good show. It was my 23rd, so I mean, I don't have much to say. <laughs> it felt like the show that was kind of like yesterday. I was like, okay kind of viewed it more as like a concert and whatever. Today I viewed it more as like an experience. Let's fuck it, let's have fun, let's yeah, fucking dance. Yeah, just have fun. I was like screaming with other people and just having a good time. Dancing Lots of dancing. Everyone. I mean, shit, I, we I got some insert, moves. We will insert some footage here of my favorite thing ever, which was uh, him dancing to Benny and the Jets. Like, you can see Tyler on the stage behind him and he's just like vibing, it's so funny. Anyways, you guys, yeah, so I didn't think I was gonna record for day two, but I gotta say, day two, Pretty good. I had a great time. One more show tomorrow. See how we're feeling. We're gonna be tired. Oh yeah. Hey guys, the last show just happened. Um, we are all kind of in agreement that the ranking of the shows goes second one, first one, and then third. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the third show was bad. I thought it had some really interesting moments. Tina hated the sports thing. I thought it was kind of funny. Wait, I didn't at all. Tina absolutely hated it. No, I was No, projecting. it was funny. No, it was really funny. The, like, literally, I felt like I was just watching a football game. Uh, I'll send Brad footage so he inserts for those of you who don't know about it. Yeah. But basically, there was a Ohio State football game happening, and so Tyler um, kept putting it up on the screen, and we were just watching football with Tyler for like Which multiple I mean, times. You know, you might think, what, you're paying money to see this? No, it's it was a so surprise. funny. He just pulls it out of nowhere, it's funny. So, yeah, it just, what I liked is it felt like there was something different about all three shows. Uh, something to keep it spicy, you know, it's all like the same set list and everything, but it also is kind of like running through the motions, you know, what to expect. Uh, and I kind of liked that. And mm -hmm. it was uh, it was kind of fun. I, I, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. So that's the thing that I like about it. So, yeah, overall, I enjoyed my time. And uh, yeah, it was my 24th fun. show. And I feel like. But I feel like you kind of understand now. No, I get it. I didn't understand it before. I get it now. So maybe that means I'll stop beating you up. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah. So we're tired. Okay. It's we, Twelve o'clock. We gotta drive eight hours home tomorrow. So yeah. Pick up our dog. I miss our fucking dog. <sighs> also, we met um, Shy and Cars from the lore video. So that was cute. We got like a quick last second picture with them. We got some Mongolian uh, grill. Brad, insert the, the picture that I will send you here. Of just what of, I ordered? Of all, for all. Oh, yeah, that picture. Well, I'll send Brad pictures to insert through this whole thing. So hopefully by now you've already seen good pictures of things. Oh my God, this lighting, bro. I know, it's the worst. This is possibly the worst lighting. Here we go. Damn. Somehow even worse. That's better. What are you talking about? Now you can see everything. Hello.